Hi everyone, Aviator Sim here. Welcome back to episode 3 of our Sky Park series. Today we have a coyote contract, which means we'll be flying illegal items on board our aircraft today, and we'll be flying the PA-44 Seminole. Today we'll be flying counterfeit eyewear from Mexico over the border into Texas. So uh, the highest obstacle along this uh, route is about 800 feet. So to stay off radar, I'm going to fly anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 feet. Hopefully we don't get caught. So let's jump into it. All right, we're all set up to go. We're flying counterfeit eyewear. And I'm just going to hit load. Let them throw that on the plane. I'm just going to go direct. So let's just hit plan flight and fly. So the same route is already in, uh, in my GPS over here. So we are ready to go there. I can um, take a look at the airfields that I'm going to be flying to. Let's go down here, Duval, Duval uh, County Ranch in Texas. Have a look here, concrete and just under 6,000 feet of runway. So there should be no problem at all with landing there. The sun should be up any moment now. And before I take off, I just want to change something really quick over here. So the whole point of this is to fly without being on the radar. So one, I'm just going to turn off the transponder. And let me just set my vertical, uh, my vertical speed really quick. We can go with 400. That's good. I have the nav set in there. All right, looking good. And shortly after takeoff, I'm just going to take the landing lights off. Let's not bring any attention to ourselves. Pitch is already set. So here we go. Parking brake coming off. Mixture rich. And here we go. Tap the brakes, gear coming up. Just going to turn out to the left and bring some of this power back because we're already at 1200 feet. So, with these coyote missions, they uh, bring along extra revenue for the flight but a uh, de decrease in uh, XP. And this is my first one, my first coyote mission. And I thought it was only right to do this in Mexico. I watch a lot of narcos and it just made sense. Either Mexico or Colombia was gonna be my choice. And there was a lot of uh, LSD being flown out of Colombia. So that may be the next video, we will see. And I just engaged the autopilot. So now I'm just going to adjust my speed. Lean that mixture a little bit along with the uh, RPM. And 
now we're cruising. Let me just take my landing light off. No need for that. We don't want anyone to recognize us, so recognition lights, I'm going to take that off. And I just want to correct myself for the Coyote contracts. It's um, negative karma. So you have good karma and bad karma. You get negative karma with the Coyote contract. So at the completion of this flight, I'm going to have negative 1.1 karma subtracted from my 2.2 karma, which would bring me back to 1.1 to karma. And the payout is $393 for the short flight, which is pretty good. And personally, I don't think counterfeit, counterfeit eyewear is that bad compared to the other choices, which was LSD and explosives. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, hey, it's whatever. All that means is if we get caught, we won't be doing much jail time. All right, and like always, we're at our cruising altitude even though we're only at 1,200 feet. So we're about four or 500 feet off the ground. Just gonna get a couple shots of the outside environment and I will see you guys when I am descending into Texas and crossing over that uh, US-Mexico border. I'll see you then. Alright, 13 nautical miles out from Duval County Ranch. Gonna start turning out to uh, towards runway 33 because that's what I'm going to uh, land on. So I'm just going to take it off nav mode, put it in heading mode and uh, turn my heading just to start lining up for the runway. We successfully crossed the US-Mexico border without being detected and we are almost to our destination. Right, let's take it out of nav mode, let's put it in heading mode, and the plane is starting to turn. And the runway here at um, Duval is just under 6,000 feet, so I don't I don't really need the entire runway to land, so I might put the heading out here, then turn in like right around here. That may make a lot more sense, but either way, my eyes are still on the horizon searching for the uh, airfield, and it's a concrete runway, which is good. It's much harder to see the grass strips, especially with all these trees out here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the autopilot since we are approaching. Mixture of full rich and prop all the way in. Right now, my control. Just the pitch a little, and we can bring up the Sky Park app. I can fly with um, with this up here. I would love for uh, Parallel 42, who are the uh, creators of the Sky Park software to put something in here, uh, just maybe consequences for flying these, um, the Coyote missions. Like if you're flying LSD and explosives and, and stuff like that, there's police or, or armed forces waiting for you at the airport. That would be interesting. And again, this is my first Coyote contract, so that may be in there and I just don't know it yet. 
that'd be interesting if we landed and they were just sitting there waiting for me. I don't think I'd do much jail time because it's just counterfeit sunglasses, but we'll see. I'm going to leave my landing lights off for this landing just in an effort to not bring attention to us and also it's bright enough out here that I don't need my landing lights. It's not going to benefit me in any way. But normally you would turn them on. Normally I would have kept them on this entire flight since we're below 10,000 feet. But no need. Usually I would be using uh, Navigraph for flight but um they give you a really nice interface with this Sky Park, this tablet. I love it. Um, where I think we're in the Yo Flight app, and that's really useful for finding airports that you've never been to, especially um, out here, especially grass grass strips. It definitely helps with grass strips because you could essentially just line up with this right here and fly directly into the runway, and you'll definitely see it eventually. So my last video was maybe three weeks ago for uh, Sky Park, and I hope some of you who have been following along so far in this Sky Park series have been able to try it out for yourself. I really recommend this. It's it's an interesting addition to um, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and I really like it. And I'm a person who has flown so far uh, almost all of the um, the add-ons like this one. So we have Air Hauler 2 have on air we have this one and the only one I haven't done is Neil fly I've heard good things about it so I might check it out but I definitely um, I definitely recommend hopping in the sky park and just giving it a try it may be for you it may not be for you but it, it's definitely worth a try all right coming up on the runway and it appears to just be a road if I'm not mistaken Uh, here we are. So the road leads into the runway. Oh, that's interesting. Here we are. Let's put her down. Doesn't appear to be anyone waiting for us, so that's a good sign. That's a nice shadow off to the left. And here we go. Power coming out. touchdown and right here at this little uh, hut is where we need to drop off our counterfeit sunglasses All right we can go ahead and clean up the plane flaps coming up let's just go around to the back this around parking brake on and let me just shut these engines off and let's deliver our counterfeit eyewear and we completed the job another job complete first job completed with a coyote contract let's close out of there I just want to thank everyone for flying along with me today on this dangerous but not so dangerous mission crossing the Mexico United and US border into Texas and delivering counterfeit eyewear. This is our first of I can definitely see many coyote contracts and next time I think I'm going to go with something a little bit more risky maybe explosives maybe LSD but stay tuned to the series to find out. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again.